Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey. If you are new here, I have four children ages 10, 7, 2, and 3 months old and we have been homeschooling for almost seven years now and today I'm excited to show you a look inside first grade math with confidence. So we actually just started this. This is something I have been eyeing for my seven year old since he was in kindergarten and for whatever reason in my brain, I did not go through with it and I didn't get it again in first grade and halfway through the year, I decided, you know what, we're just gonna grab it and we're gonna use it this year and finish up this year with it and for next year. So uh, let's go ahead and look inside. I'm not gonna show you the entire thing because of copyright. That is something I have in the last couple of years kind of learned a little bit more about and I don't wanna break any copyright rules. So. I am going to show you kind of the beginning, kind of the back, and then a little bit of the inside of both of these books. So it comes with a teacher's guide and it is pretty thick. It's nice, good size. This is actually a very affordable program. I got both of these books for, I'm gonna say $40 maybe. Here is the student book. It's much smaller. They do two pages out of this a day. I also want to mention that you can go on their website and download the current levels that they have. They have kindergarten, first, second, and third grade is coming out this spring or summer, I believe. And you can download the samples and work through those to see if they will be good for your child. That's actually what I did with this level before I decided to purchase it. Okay, so here is the instructor guide. This is by Kate Snow at The Well-Trained Mind. We have our table of contents so you can see everything you're going to be doing for the entire school year. We have the introduction. Then we have how to use the book. There's a lot of really good information in here. It talks about the goals, um, how to focus on the concepts, talks about the type of lessons you'll be doing, talks about how long you should be using the workbook, the hands-on activities, and the warm-up, all of that stuff. And then there's optional enrichment lessons on Fridays. This is actually a four day a week math curriculum, which is great because we actually only do school four days a week. Talks about, is my child ready to start? How do I know whether to stick with the lesson and move on? Which I think can be difficult for us homeschooling parents. Um, what to expect at the end of the unit is the, are they ready to move on what to do if they need more practice what should I do if my child is crying or frustrated I have been there what if the lessons take too long what if they fly through it just lots of great question and answers it talks about how to create your math kit and then it has everything here and then other supplies needed and helpful resources so that is all at the beginning. Here is, I'm going to try to show you a unit that I do not think that they have in the book. I don't think that they have unit 10 in the book. So we'll look at this. So every day of your lesson, it starts with a warm up. So this time we're going to count by fives to 60, learn the months of the year, review halves and fourths. You'll need your 100 chart counters and a printed wall calendar. Then for activities, you're going to introduce the minus three and minus four subtraction facts. And for that, you'll need counters, your 10 frame, subtraction tic-tac-toe game board, and playing cards. For the workbook, it will you will be doing workbook pages 10, one and 10, sorry, 10, one A and 10, one B. So here is all the warm up that you're gonna be doing. My son really enjoys the warm up, and I enjoy it because it's lots of nice review. Then you're going to do the activity that kind of teaches the lesson and there's these nice gray boxes down here to help you. Here is the game, the subtraction tic-tac-toe game that you will be playing. And then it has your workbook pages. And so on this day you're learning minus three and minus four facts. And again, you have your warm up activity and workbook pages. And there's your lesson. And then you can play the activity again, the game again, and then your workbook pages. So that is kind of how it goes every day. And I thought this was going to take, you know, 
30 minutes, but it probably takes closer to 20 minutes for us. Um, and that's with, you know, the work that includes the workbook pages and everything, which he usually completes on his own. And so here is the fourth or the fifth day, the enrichment and review, which is optional. We usually like to do that on our fun school Friday. So you review counting, memory work, child's favorite, most challenging activities, make up addition or subtraction equations to match real life context. So you can read the, the picture book every Friday splash by Ann Jonas and then more games that they can do. And then it has your answer key. So that is pretty much what the teacher's book looks like. Now we'll go to week 10 in our workbook. Okay, so here is that tic-tac-toe game board if you would like to use that. And then here is 101A and 101B. And that's it, that's all they do for the day. So he enjoys this because it's not as much as the BJU ones. And the review is built into the lesson. So I liked BJU because it had lots of review in the worksheets, but I would rather do review orally, honestly, because then it's less writing and kind of getting them tired and everything. So that is it. So there is that. So when it comes to the hands-on manipulatives, most of this is from ARC and the Beautiful curriculum that we did several years ago. But we have some of these um, pattern blocks. I actually just bought a whole new set, um, but it's downstairs right now. So this is what we've been using. I purchased some of these. These are just kind of nice to have, but these were in our box, so I just pulled those out. This is what we use as our counters. They're just little square blocks. I went ahead and purchased some play money. It was very inexpensive when I bought the curriculum on um, Rainbow Resource. So we have that, and then we use real coins. These are what I use for the number cards for most things. And then we also have these back here that have like addition and subtraction as well. Obviously we need a ruler. We have a little bag with dice and game pieces and other counters, so those are fun to use. Then for most of the things we use um, just some sheet protectors and we put our, um, you can actually print a lot of these Blackline Masters, I believe. Um, from their website, I actually got this from the sample that we did, um, but we just write the numbers with a um, dry erase marker and then we use our whiteboard for a lot of the activities and learning so that we don't have to get a ton of different manipulatives out um, and that's very helpful as well. I also wanted to point out that we have playing cards and dice, clock with hands, and just a couple of the other things. Um, the binder with 20 plastic page protectors is recommended but not necessary. We will probably set our second grade curriculum up this way, but um, this has been working for right now, and a lot of the things that you can get are very inexpensive to get through Rainbow Resource or Christian Book or Amazon or wherever you wanna get them. And then a lot of them are things that you can just make at home, like the blank index cards is how you will make your number cards. But again, we already have number cards and tally cards and all of those things that we got with the good and the beautiful. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed getting a peek inside first grade math with confidence. Um, I am super excited to finish this curriculum and jump into the second grade one next year. And I do plan on using this for my little kids in the future. I highly recommend it. I know we've only been using it for a short period of time, but I really enjoy it. I will also include a video down below of the creator, Kate Snow, where she kind of goes over it and talks about it a lot more in depth than I could ever possibly do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you have not yet. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.